five-year-old gelding's maiden. White flag raised, often racing at the first time of asking, and 15 fences to jump as they make their way now towards the first. And getting over number one up there is Corrig Warrior in the red jacket and also prominent down along the inside is Tiger's Roar. They're one and two as they go into the dip heading to fence number two. Something about Keane for the McGough team is up in third position and then in fourth you've got Multine River. Further back in the field on the inside then is Student Champ in the red jacket come to this second fence lying in fifth position just ahead of Spice Bag Dev as they clear out over the next one. So away from the second, two back markers at the moment are Derek O'Connor on Real Good Man and also towards the rear, in fact in last place is Higher Monarchy. So as they go across the top section of the track and travel on on the approach to the home straight, the two disputing the running are Carrig Warrior and up there Tiger's Roar. They're one and two, they've been followed down the hill by in third place is something about Keane. So coming to the first of the three fences up the home straight, Tiger's Roar, White Face, lands just in front here from in second place in the cheek pieces is Carrig Warrior. Up there, third place, we have Got on the outside, Super Survivor, Mon Beg Runner making a few places alongside something about Keane. As we watch them all straddle over that fence. So four down, another 11 fences to be taken as they come to number five. So with the cheek pieces, Curry Warrior just in front here from something about Keane. Back to third place is Tiger's Roar and then in fourth position passing the judge this time will be Super Survivor and then three in line for the fifth, sixth and seventh places and they include Multine River, Spice Bag Dev and with these is Gavroche Dallier. Break of about three lengths in turn then to Student Chap and he is tracked then by Richmond Blake, who has two behind, and they continue to be out the back of the field. Real good man, and tail ender is Jack Hendrick aboard Higher Monarchy. At number six, Carrie Warrior, just in front here from in second place. There's something about Keane. Down the inside travels Tiger's Roar. Back then in the white jacket to find in fourth place is Multine River and Ray Barron. As they race along now to fence number seven. And going to it, it is going to be Carry Warrior just in front from Tiger's Roar. As they come over it, something about Keane is up with them and also in the leading quartet is Super Survivor. And then back in fifth is Multine River, followed in turn then by Student Chap and then Richmond Lake. So no great chopping or changing here with the same few horses disputing the running for the first mile and a half of this contest. And Tigers Roar back up alongside Carrig Roar, Warrior one and two, and something about Keane is in third. Multine River now into fourth place with in fifth then Super Survivor, and they are being followed down the hill in turn then by uh, Gavrosh Dallier, Student Champ, and Richmond Lake. So coming down now, past the halfway point to fence number eight. And as they steer over that fence, it is Tiger's Roar on the inside with Carrig Warrior and something about Keane. So over this one, and they're really tightening up. Deepest of all in about fourth place, Jimmy Walsh aboard Super Survivor. So plenty. To the forefront this time, Carrig Warrior, Tiger's Roar nearest to us. And getting away from that one, just about Tiger's Roar, Carrig Warrior, something about Keane in the yellow jacket. They're the leading three, and then the red and blue colours, Tom and O'Mara's colours there aboard Gavrash Dali and Jimmy O'Rourke is in fourth. Fifth place close up is Super Survivor. And then next is Spice Bag Dev for Shane Bargery and the Aherns, followed by Multine River. And then we have got... Maxi O'Sullivan on Richmond Lake is about 8th place. In turn that one is followed by Student Chap. And 
And last of the main group is real good man and Derek O'Connor and still five lengths to the back marker, higher monarchy. Away from that next, fen next fence they go. And Tigers Roar, Chris O'Donovan, just about the leader now on the inside from Super Survivor between horses is still Carrick Warrior with something about Keane right on the premises also been just ridden along is Richmond Lake and this one in turn is uh, followed then down the inside by Gavroche Dallier here's the four class fence as they come to it Tigers Roar booted into it lands alongside with something about Keane the last one there just which looks like it was long-time leader Carrig Warrior who came out a faller at that fence. So Carrig Warrior out of the contest and this leaves Tigers Roar just in front of something about Keane. Gavroche Dallier close third sitting on their tails and fourth right in the contact with these is Super Survivor. A few lengths in turn then to in fifth is Spice Bag Dev and then into sixth and improving its position is Real Good Man. So the field wheel down the hill now with three fences left to jump and uh, it is still just about Tiger's Roar on the inside with Super Survivor Widest coming between horses is something about Keane who falls. Something about Keane was sharing the lead and badly hampered and brought down was Gavroche Dallier. So it's Tiger's Roar and Super Survivor one and two to the second last fence. They've steered away then from back in third place is Real Good Man and Nate Headway from Higher Monarchy but with one to jump. Super Survivor, the outside of Tiger Roar. They're having a good battle here. Tiger Roar for Pat Collins' yard. The Monbeg runner on the outside is Super Survivor. They're head to head into the last 50 yards. It's just Tiger's Roar and Chris O'Donovan clinging on to the advantage. And Tiger's Roar just about got there, but it's very, very tight. It'll be the camera to the side, Tiger's Roar and Super Survivor. They were clear from in third home was Real Good Man. And then we had Richmond Lake followed in fifth across the line then was student chap so that ended up being a very tight finish the two involved in race card order in a photo finish were 22 super survivor and 47 tiger roar could have went either way depending on the bob of heads The result of the second division of the third race, first number 47, Tigers Roar, second number 22, third number 29, and fourth number 10. The distances were ahead, 10 lengths and two and a half lengths. 47, 22, 29 from 10, ahead, 10 lengths and two and a half lengths.
The four-year-old race is the, uh, the fourth race of the day, I should say, is the Mare's Maiden for five and upwards mares, the 